For the first time, we hear accused murderer Susan Monica's voice. Hi, this is Susan, and I'm my 28 who's doing something. That's the answering message at Monica's home, which lies down a winding, dusty driveway off West Evans Creek Road in rural Rogue River near Weimar. We're out here at the back of a neighboring lot where the property owner has allowed us to film and as you can see behind me Jackson County Search and Rescue is set up. Now if you take a look though at the GPS coordinates you could actually see there were only a few yards from where a pond lies at the back of Monica's property. That pond now a muddy puddle. Footprints surround it. Two pink flags can be seen from the shoreline. Jackson County Sheriff's tell us when they arrived to investigate an identity theft Friday, they instead discovered evidence of two murders. They say they found mutilated corpses. Sheriff's deputies blocked two roads coming into the property. But from our vantage point, we can see much of their focus is on a large industrial type building on the lot. Neighbors say Monica used it as a barn, work area and residence. There's an eerie silence in this rural area of Jackson County. The only sounds come from occasional calls of nearby roosters horses and deputies. As detectives days later continue scouring this near 20 acre parcel of land for more evidence in what is quickly turned from an identity theft case to a double murder investigation. In Rogue River, Jennifer Elliott, NBC5 News.